Hey guys, it's Sean. I've been a Fujifilm user for a while now. I started with the X-T2 and quickly escalated it with me exchanging all of my Nikon gear for a set of X-T2 bodies and lenses. I haven't looked back ever since. It's honestly been one of the most enjoyable systems I've ever used. It keeps me inspired to go out and find new scenes to photograph every day. But when Fujifilm announced the X-S10, I was very skeptical. It only offered a single card slot, it had this huge grip, and Fujifilm got rid of all the manual dials. But after watching a few reviews, I started to rethink the X-S10 and ultimately decided to pick one up to see if I'd like it. Here I am a month later, and I'm sorry to say it's one of my favorite Fujifilm cameras in my collection at the moment. The biggest selling factor for the X-S10 and the main reasons I didn't get the X-H1 was the flipping screen. I create a lot of videos and having a screen that rotates is invaluable when it comes to getting my work done. I had thought about springing for an X-T4, but I already have two X-T2s and have been satisfied with their image quality. I didn't think I'll let them go and I don't think I will until we either have an X-H2 or they break. My biggest selling factor for the X-S10 were the size, the IBIS, and the fact that it still uses the older W126S batteries because I have a ton of them. I thought the button layout, particularly the fact that the camera is missing the manual shutter speed and ISO dials were going to be a huge flaw for me, but it's honestly worked out really well for video, which is what I use the camera for usually. I've created some still images with the camera, but I mainly used it for video production. The video from the camera has been incredible. I usually just set it on Eterna and manage my exposure so I don't have to make any adjustments in post. The images are crisp, detailed, and offer great colors. I know the 8-bit files are much more limited in terms of grading, but I tend to take out the Pocket 4K when I need that flexibility in post. I can't say that I'll be using the XS10 for many paid gigs, but then again, only time will tell. From a practical sense, the Fujifilm XS10 is an incredible offering for anyone looking for a simple camera with great image quality. If I were looking for a way to break into the Fujifilm system and only had enough money to spring for the XS10, I don't think I would be disappointed. It's a great camera with a lot to offer. If you want to see more of the images I'm producing with any of my cameras, you can check me out on Glass and Instagram at Sean P. Bruce. Thanks for watching.